We're almost to Flaming Fist headquarters. There's a cleric being held there Duke Eltan thinks you might want to speak to. Though why anyone would want to talk to a madman like Tiax is beyond me. You have but to ask. Simply no standards these days. Keep a good distance now. I'm hungry. We're more than mercenaries. We're more than mercenaries. I will do what I can to help you.
you've brought me to a jail. You have the soul of a romantic. You have but to ask. Please, help us. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Speak quickly, citizen. I have little time for this. We're more than mercenaries. Order is what matters. More than mercenaries. Declare yourself. Rod TX. Ah! Well, that was time well spent. Shall be as you wish. Oh, 
dares prod TX? In wonder I can believe, but the glory? Thou thinkest too highly of thyself, gnome. He wants to go Betty by. That's adorable. We're more than mercenaries. Declare yourself! Do not disturb my duties. citizen. Shall be as you wish. We should reach the Iron Throne building soon. Eltan wanted you to speak with a Salunite monk helping out there, name of Rasad in Bashir. I shall attend to it in a trot. What's this, Bison? Huh? What is this? It's all I have, I swear.
There's nothing you need to worry about. Isn't that right, Bison? Well, Officer Riggs was just uh, helping me. My, uh, my cat got lost, and he's helping me find it. That's right. I'm helping him find his kitty. I'll see you as soon as you've got something. I mean, as soon as I've got your cat, Bison. It'll be real soon. Oh, gods, it never ends with you people. What is it you want now? Half of them don't even have shoes. Well, the Council of Four should never let them come here. They'll be the ruin of this city. Mark me on that. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You've really done it this time, Bison. He seems to be crying. Boo says this is not a sign of all right. No, no, no. There is definitely something wrong here. Of this, I am certain. No, oh, I'm not fooling anyone. I'm not all right. That, that, that flaming fist thug Riggs has taken everything I've got. And it's not enough. If I can't find more gold, he'll beat me worse than he did poor Yawson. I'm doomed. Doomed! Truly? Oh, thank you. Thank you and bless you. If you can rid me of that plague, Riggs, you'll be doing all who seek refuge in Baldur's Gate a service. I shall await you here, then, and pray for your success. Fare thee well. What is it you want now? Best show some respect. I serve the flaming fist. Get out of here before I lose my patience. We've been working our fingers to the bone keeping this scum safe. So what if I'm taking a little bonus? I earned it. You can't do this to me. I serve the flaming fist. I swear it. Now just leave me be, yeah? Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Have you, have you had a chance to speak with Riggs about, you know, about what he's been doing yet? Thank you again for all you've done. May Lathander be with you, ever at your side.
us? Please, help us. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I want my mommy. We're more than mercenaries. We're more than mercenaries. Order is what matters. Ah, it has been too long since Minsk journeyed with such a fine companion. The Iron Throne building doesn't look the same as the last time you were here, does it? The Council's using it to house refugees fleeing the Crusade. It shall be as you wish. I'm so tired. I'm hungry. I want my mommy. I'm so tired. Please, help us. I welcome you with outstretched hand. Ah, it has been too long since Minsk journeyed with such a fine companion. I'm so tired. You are more than welcome in my sight. Is it truly you I see before me? A grim pronouncement. What troubles you, my friend? Ah, this is no social call then. I gather you mean to take the battle to Kayla herself. You know there are few things I would not do for you, my friend. But I cannot help you with this. While most focus on Kalar's crusade, another, more subtle darkness is spreading. In the past few weeks, many servants of Selune have vanished. Art thou certain foul play has occurred? These are turbulent times. Perhaps thy colleagues are engaged in their own business and simply neglected to tell thee. I cannot deny the possibility, but it is a risk I cannot afford to take. Forgive me. May the Moon Maiden smile upon you in your efforts. Yes, friend? Can I be of service? The monk has made his intentions clear. This pathetic attempt to elicit guilt for his decision is beneath thee. Ask me anything but that, and I will do what I can to help you. Precious little, I'm afraid. What I've heard is second-hand at best. Boo says it is better to have a second hand than no hands at all. This is the wisdom of the space hamster. Perhaps thou should let the monk speak, Minsk. Rasad, thou wert telling us of the Shining Lady. 
Her followers seem to fall into two broad categories. Mercenaries of various races hired to do her bidding and those she has recruited to her cause. There is some dispute over which is more fearful. Of the woman herself, most know of her through her followers' actions. Few have seen her personally. Those who do tend to side with her afterwards. She is, by all accounts, a powerful personality with a charisma that overwhelms her enemies as much as any sword she wields. Families have been torn apart because of her. Brother turned against brother. A dire situation. Please. I admire optimism as much as the next girl, but there is a limit. It is a good thing. As long as hope remains in our hearts, darkness cannot prevail. I pray you have good fortune on your journey. Now, if you will excuse me, I have matters I must attend to. Farewell. You have my greetings, faithful one. May I be of assistance? These refugees are my responsibility, and I believe I detect some tension here. Lon, your explanation does not ring true to me. If you could tell us more about what happened. You were here, hero. I do not know if I could have defeated the werewolf alone. I will take care of Lon's body and make sure no one was hurt. Thank you again. Thy card. <laughs> I think I'm coughing up blood. Whatever thy wills. My God protects me and watches us all.
How may I be of assistance? You have but to ask. I shall attend to it in a trice. We're more than mercenaries. It must. Why else would it be here? You want me? Whatever you like. What is it this time? I shall attend to it in a trice. You have but to ask. Yes, friend? Can I be of service? I am sorry. I am needed here now. I cannot leave. Ask me anything but that. And I will do what I can to help you. Please excuse me then. I have matters I must attend to. <laughs> I shall attend to it in a trice. I shall attend to it in a trice. You're called the hero of Baldur's Gate. Bless you. Bless you. There are many here who'll not soon forget this. Here, take this gem. I hid it so Garrichin wouldn't get his greasy paws on it. Uh, don't ask where. I'm so tired. I shall attend to it in a trice. It shall be as you wish.
don't want me? Whatever you like. How may I be of assistance? You have but to ask. What is it this time? I shall attend to it in a trice. You have but to ask. It shall be as you wish. Such crowds of tiny people. Make way for Mitsk and Boo, tiny ones! Shall be as you wish. Order is what matters. I called Don and Don. Yes, you have but to ask. I shall attend to it in a trice. May you know the happiness of a warm heart and home. Must gather your party before venturing forth. I shall attend to it in a trice. Many minds and much knowledge collected in such a small place. I shall attend to it in a trice. have but to ask. All right. I'll see you on the morrow. 
Word is your friend Imoen's mostly recovered from the Crusader poison, if you want to speak with her. Just remember, once you go up to your room, I'll leave to begin preparing for the journey. You won't get another chance to head out into the city. So this is the Slayer of Saravok, the hero of Baldur's Gate. How pleased I am to make your acquaintance. If it is security you desire, it would be prudent to reconsider your sleeping arrangements. I suspect the palace's weaknesses have become all too apparent to you of late. Eh, yeah, strange. There lies within you barely a spark of divine consciousness, yet you bested your brother in blood. How? What is it that drove you to victory where so many others fell in defeat? Gorion. His death was the first step of your current journey, was it not? I wonder what wisdom did he impart that left such an impression? Interesting. We will see if that is enough to bear you through the trials ahead. You do not see it yet, but another crossroads in your journey lies before you. One you will reach sooner than you think. The path you choose is of interest to me. You clutch and claw for unearned prominence and exaggerate your accomplishments. Do you not see that your deeds are great enough to stand on their own? But we can speak more of this in time when I am certain that you are the one I seek. Suffice it to say that I am a man who has lost much, but would regain some measure of what was taken from me. That is all you need now. I am not here to act, not yet. I am here to evaluate. Are you worthy? Is what you carry within enough? Are you strong enough to overcome the challenges you shall soon face? Only the passage of time will provide us answers. I am curious to see how this plays out. I will be watching. I... Oh, you're back. Sorry if I don't seem excited to see you. Poison really takes a toll. You don't know him? He said he was a friend of yours. We've known some pretty strange characters, so I didn't think it was weird to have someone pop in looking for you. Oh, I've been in worse shape. You know the kind of scrapes I get into. But never mind that for the moment. We need to talk about you going to Dragonspear Castle. Don't do it. Don't go. I'm healing. But you need to heal too. Not just from fighting Saravok. Those are just cuts and scars. But in coming to terms with... You know... What you are. Let someone else take care of the Shining Lady. Please. I knew you'd say that. I'm... I'm sorry. I can't go with you. You're the closest thing I have to family. I love you. You know that. But after Saravok, I need things to be quiet. Just for a little while. I'll be back on my feet soon. I'm sure of it. I'm the one who ran away from Candlekeep to help you out, remember? I just need a little more time to rest and work with the weave. Promise me you'll be careful, alright? I don't know what I'd do if... 
We've just lost too many people, you know? I'm gonna leave now. Take care of yourself. Silvershield about this. I've joined the Flaming Fist! Oh no! No, 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 no! Daddy would never permit it. I joined under a false name. Life as a noble is boring and stupid. I want to do something great with my life and also get out of this dirty old city and maybe meet some handsome soldiers. So, I'm going north with you. I know! All right, go back to sleep. I'll see you in... Oh, I guess you don't really have time to sleep now. I'll see you soon. Remember, whatever you do, don't tell Daddy about this. to go. The early bird catches the evil worm. <laughs> Isn't that right, Boo? I got out of bed for this. And if there's one thing I'm loath to do in a bed, it's get out of it. The sooner we reach Dragonspear Castle, the sooner we shall learn whether thy father spawned Kelar as well as the Enceravok. Slept well. You have a long road ahead. Our prayers and hopes go with you. With your help, I'm sure we'll be able to stop the crusade before it grows any stronger. The Fleming Fist travels with you under the command of Captain Corwin and Corporal Duncan. I'm sorry that Duke Elton could not be present, but the ongoing crisis has called his attention elsewhere. Is there anything else you need before you depart? Is there anything else? At Dragonspear Castle, you'll rendezvous with troops from Waterdeep and Daggerford and bring an end to Kalar Argent's crusade, one way or another. Is there anything else? May the gods look upon you with favor. You'd better get moving unless there was something else. Let me guess, Skis joined the Flaming Fist and plans to journey north with you. Your complaints will fall on deaf ears. My orders are clear. She is to be treated as any other member of the Fist. I love my Ski, but I have overindulged her. It is a hard world, and it is best time she learns that. Though I like it not, it is my hope this will prove a learning experience for her. That service to the Fleming Fist will strengthen her body, mind, and character. Perhaps Captain Corwin might serve as a role model for her.
my son is dead. Ski will inherit the silver shield name and all that comes with it. I have to believe she would be ready for the responsibility when the time comes. I appreciate your coming to me with your concerns about Ski. Please accept this ring as a token of my gratitude. When her brother died, Ski changed. She got wilder, pushed me away. I am hopeful this experience will help change her priorities. One other thing. Few of those traveling with you will know Ski's true identity. She is to receive no special treatment from the Fleming Fist. You, however, know exactly who she is. I expect my daughter return to me alive and unharmed. I am understood, I trust. Good. Speak with Captain Corwin by the main doors, and be on your guard. The trip north will likely hold dangers beside the crusade. They called. How may I be of assistance? You have but to ask. You are welcome here. Look at all the people come to wish us good fortune in our travels, Boo! me, the fear of not rising to the call, and so I took the mantle and faced my fear, and when I did, I embraced it and discovered purpose, courage, and life. I am Rafus Goodtree, it is an honor to meet you, and it will be a greater honor still to fight the Shining Lady at your side. How may I be of service? Little. She's said to be an inspiring leader. Many flock to her cause and serve her fiercely. Some claim her the daughter of a god. Others believe she possesses a divine heritage but generations removed, an Asimar. Her closest advisor is a priest who calls himself the revered brother Heffernan. He claims to serve not one god or pantheon, but all of them. Kalar has accepted this heresy. One of her goals is to see you dead. Do the others really matter? Better to know thy enemy than die in ignorance.
look at this lot. Kayla's gonna take one look at him and die laughing. How much longer must we wait? Crowds are fickle things. I know too well what can happen when moods turn sour. We're all here for the same reason. The Council put the world out looking for those ready to fight against this Kalar, and we are always ready for a fight. You like the taste of teeth, do ye? You're this close to eating yours. Get out of my face now before yours gets broke. What are ye looking at? I don't like being looked at in general. Or specific. Do your gazing in someone else's direction. What are ye looking at? of me see why talk and nothing more I know what men want from me oh and what is that me join you <laughs> that would drive Faug mad and drive him mad I shall are we off your actions are as ill-judged as they are incomprehensible. Oi, hero! I'll have words with you! Don't forget Xylophone! Oh wait, you said that already. Vyconia is her own person, Durgar. Thou hast no claim upon her. Be gone. I want nothing more to do with you. Boo has not said anything out of politeness. But I know he is unhappy without direction.
means to take care of this little girl. In this world, there are many bats. Some are good bats, and those we shall leave unkid. Some bats, however. Lessons such as this are best left to the child's mother, Minsk. They'll do what they have to. Exactly like that. Oh, I like this little one. She has a fire in her belly. That's right. Now give me a hug, Roma, and go to your grandfather. Mama's gotta get going. Many minds and much knowledge collected in such a small place. Hero of Baldur's Gate! You and Mama are going to fight Kalar, right? You would do better to fight her with a sword. Hitting people with other people is not the best strategy in combat. They squirm too much. That's my grandpa. He doesn't like me talking about what Mama does. What have I told you about bothering others? You don't know them. That makes them a stranger. And you don't talk to strangers, right? There you are. The caravan's at the palace gate. We're ready to head to Dragonspear if you are. <laughs> 